helping mama? You being bad girl? Hi. Can you be a good girl if I let you go? I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go. Oh, I want you to go this way. Okay. All right. Anyway. ago when I decided to turn myself into my childhood idol, Sam Carter. Um, I guess I can't really say childhood. I think I started becoming obsessed with her in high school. Um, but it was an obsession. <laughs> um, I cut my hair short. Uh, we'll insert a clip of that somewhere maybe. Uh, I did a, a nice pixie um, and then immediately was filled with regret. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize how much I had wrapped up in my hair and, and how it tied into how I felt about my femininity and my attractiveness. And then I discovered Stargate SG-1. On Stargate SG-1, uh, Sam has short hair and she's a badass and I was like, game recognized game. And I just wanted to be her from that moment on. I thought she was so cool and savvy and smart and that she was really the first sci-fi character that I saw that wasn't just kind of the goofy damsel in distress. Like, she's usually the one saving the day. She's got the, you know, big brain energy. So I decided that after many years in the closet, I wanted to try my hand at cosplay. And I have some footage of it. Uh, you saw a little bit at the beginning, a preview of how it turned out. Uh, I have zero experience in this. I'm not a makeup, I'm not even an expert. Like, I, I put on my makeup for work every day, but other than that, I, um, I've just started dabbling in things like contouring my face, not just, you know, for cut cheekbones, but for actual changing my face shape, for actual changing my face shape. So it was kind of an experiment for me, but I really, really loved it. I had a lot of fun making it, and I want to continue making them. Um, so that's where I am in my cosplay journey. I don't know how much help this would be for someone who's trying to figure out how to cosplay or um, someone who wants a tutorial. I don't know that this is that video. If anything, this is going to show you um, kind of a beginner's journey, I guess. Or if you are someone who, like me, has loved cosplay for a long time but never been brave of If you are someone like me, who has loved the idea of cosplay for a long time, but has never tried it, never had the courage, never been the person that is going to put themselves out there and let's just say go to a public place dressed as a military captain from the 1990s, maybe this will give you some inspiration to give it a try. I did it, I didn't die of embarrassment, and now I'm actually posting about it on the internet. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for being here. I hope that you enjoy it, and let's go to me talking about what I'm doing. Okay, so for a lot of these clips, I am going to appear to be talking, um, but when I listened back to that audio, I wasn't really being helpful. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is trying to look at a reference picture of Amanda Tapping as Sam Carter, and sculpt out where she has dips, shadows, high points on her face compared to where they are on my face. So I'm kind of tapping around my face, looking at different parts where we don't match up and trying to find what I can do to create those lines and shadows that more closely resemble hers. We do a lot of blending and tapping here, but we do eventually <laughs> Um, get into doing some contouring, including narrowing my chin a little bit more to give me the sort of pointed jawline that Amanda Tapping has, and also kind of thinning out my eyebrows, changing the shape of my nose, and just overall trying to mimic some of her facial features. Um, so this step in the process goes along 
literally forever, so to avoid showing you 19 million hours of me doing exactly what you see right now, I'm going to put together a little time lapse to kind of show you how it all came together. When it finally all came together after making a huge mess and lots of snacks and whining to Tucker, I ended up being able to put the final touches on, finishing up with my lipstick here, just trying to mimic her lip shape, then moving on to trying to style my wig a little bit, because if anyone's worked with wigs before, you know they're not easy to do when they're cheap. Curling my lashes, putting on my mascara, and I end up with this final product. Now obviously there's a lot about this that isn't perfect and that I would change. Um, the lighting obviously, first of all, is not great. But I am pretty proud of the way that it did change my face when I added the contour to my cheeks and my jawline. I have a pretty round face and Amanda Tapping has a pretty angular face. So I think that I kind of achieved that effect pretty well, if nothing else. Next up, my lovely cameraman Tucker recorded a couple of these kind of hokey bogus shots of me pretending to be Sam Carter. Um, similarly to before, I'm going to set them to some music and just kind of let you enjoy the final product. Okay, so we ended up losing some footage from this day. It was a few months ago, so I'm not really surprised in the chaos of the move, but I just wanted to include some of my favorite shots from the day that I actually went out in this cosplay. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I don't feel like it's too bad for my first try, but I am going to include some silly pictures as well, you know, just to keep myself grounded, freaking out about my mask, and some bloopers. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this process, and I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me, and I hope that if you feel like it, maybe you'll try something new too. Thanks for joining me, I hope to see you again. Expert. Hey. Been brave of your <laughs> words. I'm just saying. Hazards of moving into a new house. Nowhere to set your tea down. Being a woman. idea what I'm doing.